Hey guys, you asked for it, so we're doing a shop tour, project update, and general business update video so you know where the channel's at and where we're headed. We've been super busy putting out some awesome Make It Real projects, but we're working on ramping up so we can do actually two videos per week. Um, and to do that, we've had to kind of restructure the way we do business here and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's a really exciting time for us here at Hacksmith Industries, and I hope that we'll be able to start posting more videos on a more regular basis. Which brings me to my next point. This is actually a two-part vlog, and part two is on our vlog channel, which we're hoping to start posting one video per week to of more of this kind of behind-the-scenes stuff so you can really see what's going on right here at the shop. Now, if you did click this video just to see the jet-powered motorcycle, it is in the video. Check out the pinned comment for a time code to go exactly straight to that. In the meantime, let's start the tour. All right, so first up, we finally bought ourselves a, li a, line a, a vinyl, vinyl cutter. A, a vinyl cutter. A vinyl cutter. <laughs> it cuts lines. So now we can actually cut out awesome logos and uh, other titles and things to put on our projects to make it look a lot cooler. So for example, like the Zarya particle cannon, that was just crappy like uh, printer paper that we used and literally like glued it on. Whereas now we can make like a proper vinyl sticker, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, in addition, we've been organizing all our stuff and we have so many electronics now. And we got another entire shelf, more, more electronics. And we basically, we went on a shopping spree on like AliExpress and bought all kinds of Arduinos, DC to DC converters, wire, solder, heat shrink, and basically, it's amazing. When, when I first started out making stuff, the most annoying part was not having the parts you need to make the project. Because in general, when you order stuff from China, it takes anywhere from four to 12 weeks to get. And by then, you've either forgotten about the project you wanted to do or Basically, you don't even want to do the project anymore. So having the parts in-house, in stock, and having lots of them means whenever we come up with an idea, we can, just, we can just go ahead and make it, which is really cool. And that's why we got Bogdan over here. Look at all the stuff he's making. Riley right now is working on a very, very fun little, little contraption here. Kind of looks scary, right? What do, you, what do you guys think this is? Well, it's a taser potato. <laughs> and it's called taser hot potato. And basically, it started out just being on or off, um, which means you don't want to try catching it whatsoever because it's going to shock you like crazy. We're using the same uh, zappers as we did for the Nightwing batons, but Bogdan, over there, has added in a little Arduino, and it's gonna have a randomizer circuit, so basically you won't know when it turns on the high voltage, so you can literally play a hot potato, and every once in a while, someone is going to get shocked and uh, cut to B-roll, because I think we have some. Hey, yeah. Touch it. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, <potato. laughs> so we got a whole bunch of hoverboard components, like these wheels and all the speed controllers, and we got a video coming out with Evan Frickin' Kale, who's another awesome YouTuber, you should totally check him out. The annotation's right here. Um, but anyways, Bogdan's managed to kind of reverse engineer all the existing speed controllers and hook them up to an Arduino so we can actually remote control each wheel individually. And we've slapped them all together onto a shopping cart. And it's gonna be pretty fun. So more on that later. Got ourselves a little photo studio box. So we can take cool pictures of our projects and we even have this nice little rotary table that spins around. So hopefully we'll have some more awesome beauty shots in our videos. Got another Thor's hammer, this one's kind of cool. We're actually going to be filling this with lead and tungsten to make the world's heaviest Thor's hammer. And then we're gonna be going to Iceland to present it to the mountain or Thor himself, the world's strongest man. So stay tuned on the main channel for that video. It's gonna be pretty sweet. You guys know we have a plasma cutter now. It's freaking awesome. Big thank you to Leap Metal Tools and Macatech for uh, Mashitech, that's the one, Mashitech. Uh, literally, we've used this on almost every single project since we've gotten it. That's how useful it is. We didn't necessarily need to use it on every single project, but once you have something like this, you use it on every single project, because it's super convenient. So, we also lucked out. Um, some, something we have a, tr a little problem with here is storage. We're running out of space like crazy. Just because we're getting more tools and more projects and we're running out of places to put everything. Luckily, my friend works for a demolition company that was demolishing a shoe store at a mall and they had all the shelving from their warehouse area 
available. So we actually, we bought all of it and we built a few of them here. And these are actually cut down. They were, they used to be 10 feet tall. And it's even on tracks. So they slide out like so. And inside we got some, some cool stuff over there. But the extra cool stuff is in this one. That's getting a bit messy. But it's our armory. So we got the Captain America shields, Attack on Titan, the new Captain America shield, Electromagnet, um, Psylocke's sword, Genji's sword. Uh, this was the Wolverine sword. We haven't done a video on that yet. We got 84 of these upright shelves. So when we expand a new building, we'll be able to have our own warehouse of parts or projects, whichever comes first, I'm not sure. Next up, there's a, there's a really nice car behind me. And uh, this is actually a 1979 MGB Mark IV, and we're gonna turn it into a James Bond spy car, which will be really cool. It's a really fun little car, very sporty. Uh, unfortunately, it's not very fast, but we might be planning on putting a jet engine in the trunk, as well as a whole bunch of other spy gadgets. In fact, right now, you can see the passenger seat is missing, and that's because we're in the process of installing the ejection seat. So stay tuned for that project too. Uh, something else new, we just got all this backdrop stuff for the garage door, which is awesome. It'll really help us. It helped us take those Captain America photos and it helps us take our thumbnails because we can use the green screen, we can edit out the background, no problem. And it's just another little feature we're trying to, trying to do so we can up the production quality of our videos. Um, over here, we have a very nice sword. Uh, if you guys have been following us on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, you'd have seen some previews of this already, but basically this is Frostmourne. Fro Frostmourne. Bogdan. I don't know, I didn't build it. Riley? Uh, cut the B-roll. Cut the B-roll. the frost morn Ta -da. Um, yeah look at that so the cool thing with this we actually <laughs> we put a little vape in the handle along with blue LEDs and this thing will literally smoke blue smoke and hopefully look really cold um, and it is completely functional this thing is really heavy and we will be destroying some stuff with it so stay tuned for that video too we also got magnets so uh, K&J Magnets reached out and asked if we needed any magnets, and of course, we need magnets. We love magnets. We use magnets for almost everything. Some of our most popular videos are using electromagnets. And what's better than an electromagnet? A regular magnet, because you don't need to power it. Speaking of stuff that can be easily scratched, we put up this awesome TV in a place where it's totally going to get destroyed at some point. But before that happens, it makes for a very convenient place to uh, review our videos um, before we release them on YouTube. So, uh, the video editing here is a very time-consuming and long process where a ton of different people work on editing it. Uh, myself, Evan, the cameraman right now, Alex, the other editor, and then we also have Owen and Jordy. A lot of people touch the videos. But what we do is we always review them together as a group to give suggestions on how we can make the video better. So now, we can do that right here. Plus, it's good for other things too. To fill you guys in, uh, Ian was an avid motorcycle rider. Until I, he I bought, yeah, I bought a motorcycle when I was 16. It was too fast. Uh, I, went, I shouldn't say too fast. It wasn't a super sport. It, would, it topped out at 220. I, had, I got some speeding tickets. <laughs> so many, in fact, that he lost the motorcycle. <laughs> and I had to drive him to school for over a year. Anyway, Anyways. it's been 10 years. He has his license again, and uh, he feels like maybe he's mature enough to own a motorcycle. So we so actually... We, well, we bought a very small motorcycle that I can be mature enough for. Yeah, it's, it's a it, CBR 250. It doesn't speed. It, it can't go that fast, 
but obviously if it doesn't go that fast it's also not that fun so for another project we've decided to strap a jet engine to the back yes, yes. um we'll have to test that at a uh, track uh, maybe a drag strip or something but that should be a really cool project it is it, it is, is more fun. It, is, it is a pump but you know what's more fun than a segway it's the one wheel Ooh, it comes with an ultra charger. I hope it comes charged. <laughs> that is so cool. It's so light. Okay, it's on. Reverse, forwards, reverse. Whoa, it's so smooth once you balance right. My safe word will be whiskey. Do you mean whiskey? What? Forget it. I will, I will forget it. And this is how you get employees to stay an extra hour after they're supposed to be done working. You still paying me? What? Their <laughs> 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 method of transportation. Oh. <laughs> It's about 15,000 kilometers. Oh, hey! Wheel slip detector. Oh, yeah. Answer that. <laughs> okay. An hour. myself too much on the one wheel yet which is awesome but as an added safety precaution I purchased a few um, what would you call it um, some safety equipment for while we're using the Zorb and other things the Zorb sorry I just gave it that way the one wheel I bought a whole bunch of Zorbs <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We should do that for long range. Like we'll make a launcher for this, like a big trebuchet, and then you're just like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Alright, Ian, you're better at this kind of shit. Are you gonna stand on it? Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! All right, so to see part two of the vlog, click right here to head over to our vlog channel. Make sure you're subscribed because we're gonna be posting all future vlogs to the vlog channel, and we're really hoping to build that up so we can have regular content all the time. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. How's that even working? Oh, it's like training wheels. Kind of.